My lab consists of about eight, uh, eight to ten people right now. Um, some of them training uh, hematologists and some of them are senior scientists. And, um, and uh, we, what we try and do really, this, the sort of unifying theme is that we try and increase the therapeutic index, if you like, of CAR T-cell therapy. So that means two things. It means increasing the efficacy, so we work on different ways of improving the uh, potency, the strength of CAR T-cell therapy and increasing its specificity. But we also work on trying to increase the, uh, the safety of, of this modality. And so putting those two together, of course, increases the therapeutic index. Some examples of how we, have, how we try and increase the safety of that is we've published some work on um, treatment or prevention even of the cytokine release syndrome, which is a by now well-recognized complication of, of uh, CAR T-cell therapy. Um, and so we've, we've published a couple of papers on that. Um, and in addition, the, the work that brought me here this week to, to Portugal relates to how do, you, how do you target acute myeloid leukemia safely using CAR T-cell therapy. I think the field has, has, is discovering now with the advent of potent immunotherapeutic strategies that um, to date there is no uh, AML-specific antigen that, that you can target in, uh, in, in using CAR T cells. The point being, I think, um, when you take a step back, the point being that all um, leukemia-specific mutations, or in fact all cancer-specific mutations, with, with maybe the one exception that I can think of, all occur in proteins that reside inside the cell. None of those are on, on proteins that occur outside the cell, at least as far as people have discovered so far. And since CAR T cells can only recognize proteins or, or um, glycoproteins perhaps that occur outside the cell on the membrane, that means that to date, all, um, all CAR T cell approaches are ones that have to target um, uh, lineage specific antigens, for example. And so for that reason, when, when I first started working on, on targeting AML with CAR T cells in 2011, the first few antigens that I looked at are still the ones that I'm still working on, and, and they are CD33 and CD123, both of which we are now recognizing um, are um, equally susceptible, whether they, whether they are normal cells or malignant cells, are equally susceptible to being uh, targeted by CAR T cells. And so, Today's, um, today's talk was about a, a novel, complicated, but novel way in which we can, I think, uh, get around the toxicity issue by uh, engineering the human hemopoietic system, the normal human hemopoietic system, to lack the target antigen. And what that does is we use uh, a, a gene editing approach called CRISPR, CRISPR-Cas9. And, um, and, and what we do with that is we edit the, the uh, normal uh, CD34 positive hemopoietic stem cells such that they lack a target antigen that, uh, that, that, could be, that is targeted by the CAR T cells. And, and that leaves, in essence, it creates a novel um, leukemia-specific antigen where there was not one there before. By, by virtue of gene engineering.